Everyone knows about Geiger counters, but not a lot of people know how they work. This is my Geiger counter. Uh, it's an Eberlein model E520, and yeah, it was made in New Mexico. This one actually is, uh, it comes from, I don't know if you can see it there, the Trojan nuclear power plant. Uh, that power plant does not exist anymore. Uh, but fun fact, it is the power plant that the Simpsons nuclear power plant was based off of. And by true, I mean false. It's all lies, but they're entertaining lies. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, this one's an old one. And as, as you can tell by its interior, it is very analog and uses D-cell batteries. That's a lot of fun. Well, let's just carefully put that back in. I, I actually got this one specifically because you can't break it. It is uh, unnaturally strong. Oh, ah, one minute. There we go. All right. And as a result, I don't have to worry about it. Although I do have to worry about replacement parts because you can't get them. Anyways, how does a Geiger counter work? Uh, here is the probe. Here's my little radiation source, which is a pellet and a gun casing. Don't ask questions. And yeah, the closer it gets, the more it goes off. Let's actually bump this up. Yeah, fantastic. Now, how it works is actually mostly in this part. This is a Geiger-Miller tube. In this case, it's a pancake model, which means it's flat. And how it works is actually quite simple. Inside here, inside this window, is an inert gas, usually like helium, argon, or something. And when an ionizing particle hits that, it creates, well, it ionizes it slightly by knocking an electron off one of the particles, and then that causes other electrons to be knocked off in the Townsend effect. Basically, it's like a cascade of electrons. And that little blip of electrons is picked up by the counter, and you can, you know, get a, get a reading off that. So every blip is a particle ionizing the gas in the tube. Now, I got a pancake probe because it's sensitive for a wider range of radiation, like it, it can detect alpha particles, beta particles, gamma rays, and x-rays. Um, it cannot detect neutrons, <laughs> but that's a completely different technology, how they work. But, um, you yeah, know, uh, different, different ones can work different things. Now this one does have an internal tube, it says there. I don't know if it actually works. I have never gotten it to work. I believe it's the tube on the front. I don't think it actually still works. It might not. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. But point is, oops, it's all about the ionization in the, in the tube. I can, uh, yeah, it's closer. It goes off. I, I haven't had aluminum, which actually filters out the alpha particles, because this is a large alpha emitter. So this is mostly when you do this, that's just beta particles and gamma radiation being detected there. Whereas if I pull out the pellet without the shield, it's straight up alphas and it just goes off the chart. So yeah, it's a quick little video. I just wanted to talk about it because my gear counter is fascinating and I love it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and yeah.